Hi, it's Terry Watson here again from First Impressions Dental in uh, East Kent in the UK. Um, I wanted to talk to you a bit about toothpaste. Um, you'll see a lot of uh, toothpaste adverts on the television. It costs next to nothing to make it. Uh, they charge a ton of money for it. And so it's very profitable and so it's well worth pushing and marketing from their point of view. But how useful is it from a patient's point of view? Well, uh, what is the function of a toothpaste? Well, basically when you brush your teeth, um, it, it, it's a nicer job if you've got toothpaste there. You want something fresh and minty in your mouth. The taste of uh, brushing bacteria off your teeth is not that pleasant. And so uh, uh, toothpaste makes it, makes it nicer for you. It makes it more of a pleasant experience. Um, you don't really need to use toothpaste. Um, the uh, simple act of brushing is enough to dislodge the bacteria. And as you know from other videos I've made, really it's just a case of brushing is uh, how you slow down and uh, hopefully stop gum shrinkage in later life. Um, there is one other use of toothpaste and that is um, as a vehicle for the delivery of fluoride. It uh, does have fluoride in it in the uh, concentrations about one part per million so your enamel will pick up some fluoride from the toothpaste and that will make it slightly more resistant to tooth decay. So that's the basis of uh, the toothbrush companies advertising toothpaste as uh, a, a sort of a thing to stop you getting fillings. In fact, you'll be far less likely to get fillings if you just cut down on the cakes, biscuits and sugar and sweets that you eat than you would from brushing with toothpaste. So let's just remember that brushing is for gum disease and toothpaste really is, is an adjunct for brushing. Now, there are lots and lots of different toothpaste here. I've got a few here. As dentists, we get these sent through as free samples. The um, patients love these because they, they can um, put, pack them up, you know, now that you can't take uh, liquids through customs. But um, people often say, well, what's the best toothpaste? You know, wh which one do you recommend? And I always say that they're all exactly the same. As far as I know, they're all made in the same Chinese factory and just put in different different tubes. Uh, they're slightly different flavorings. If they've got fluoride in them, which almost all of them have these days, then um, they, they, it's gonna be the same level of fluoride. Now, what about the sort of, what I call this sort of speciality toothpaste, like the charcoal toothpaste and the Beverly Hills Hollywood Smile toothpaste and all that sort of thing. Once again, <clears throat> no, proprietary or over-the-counter product is allowed to contain more than 0.1% hydrogen peroxide so uh, so they're not really going to have any whitening effect. The claim for the whitening effect really boils down to them saying we'll brush some stain the stains off your teeth and so your teeth will get whiter and they do have a mild abrasive effect but not really um, enough to speak about. Um, you certainly don't want to brush your teeth with a very, very abrasive toothpaste. There used to be a um, toothpaste called Eucryl Smokers Powder and that was literally like uh, grit and uh, if you brush your teeth with that then you would very quickly wear your teeth away. So don't go for anything out of the ordinary. My advice to you is to buy the cheapest toothpaste uh, that, that you like, where you like the flavour of it and just, uh, you, you know, just buy it in bulk and and just put a bit on your, your brush, just enough to make it foam up a bit. And you're far better off spending your time making sure that you're brushing thoroughly than you are worrying or spending large amounts of money on what toothpaste. Now, uh, as far as carbon or charcoal toothpaste go, um, these, I think, again, you know, like, like every sort of marketing BS, they, they have some, they try and build on some element of uh, credibility and the credibility is that uh, prior to the advent of all these highly manufactured toothpaste, people recognised that uh, some sort of mild abrasive was a good idea when you were brushing. And so they would brush with something that had a mild abrasive effect. And uh, soot is, I suppose, uh, you could say it has a mild abrasive effect. So, um, But certainly the fact that it's black doesn't make your teeth white or anything. Any of these other crazy, crazy polar bear on the moon type connections that people make with um, the colour of the toothpaste and the fact that it's whitening your teeth or anything. So please don't fall for these gimmicks. They come and they go, you know, if it's not aloe vera, it's uh, oil pulling or um, uh, uh, what's that oil that they're
cutting down the rainforest to produce um, coconut oil and uh, palm oil, palm oil, all sorts of things. Please don't don't fall for any of it. Just use the cheapest one that's got fluoride in, brush really really thoroughly once a day, and that's all you need to know about toothpaste.